All right, cool. So I just started. All right. So what's going on, people? It's your main man, Everything by John. Welcome to another um, episode of the podcast, man. I got a special, special guest here. This dude right here. I just came across his um his channel. Um, I mean, this guy is putting out special content for the city, man. And you know, I'm from New York, and I'm I interview people from all walks of life, all backgrounds, all businesses, anything you name it. I try to interview you, put you on a platform. So my guy, Street News TV, man. Uh, introduce yourself to the people. Let everybody know who I got. Man, hey, first and foremost, I just want to say, man, you know, it's an honor to be on your platform. Um, this is actually the first interview I ever did. Um, okay. My name is True News TV, man, LSN TV, man. I'm straight out of Chicago, Illinois, or uh, Chirac, Illinois, whatever you want to call it, um, West Side. And, you know, I do my thing with the blog and I do music. Um, I do all type of shit, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I see you. I see you with the uh, with the music too. I'm like, okay, this dude is a he's a hustler. He's like one of them, he's an entrepreneur too. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, you got to be some type of hustler to be you know put up numbers and everything like that. You know. Exactly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta. I always try. I always try to think outside the box. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Outside of you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, motherfucker, look at me and they might be like, you know. I perceive him to, you know, be this type of way or, you know what I'm saying? You know, they get used to your your content or the things that you're doing. Sometimes you just got to, uh, I could do this too, you know? Right, right. Because you never know what may work. It's all it's all a chance, but I see it like, you know, if it's a chance that I could take to where I'm really not losing nothing any damn way, then why not, you know? Exactly, exactly. And I, I love that approach because like like I said, you know, with your channel, I was I was just telling you earlier, like with your channel, I feel like I'm looking at your channel and I'm like, man, this this guy has so many different opportunities coming soon. Like, cause if you're doing the you're doing the, the, the specific pieces and you're doing your music, it's like people's gonna look at your channel like, yo, this we could do like a, a couple different things with this dude. You know what I'm saying? Like different type of business deals and all different types of shit going on, you know what I'm saying? No doubt, no doubt. Yeah, nah, facts, facts. No and, and so that's yeah, exactly. man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, no, nah, I just want to um, so I mean, there, there's so much I want to get into, man. But well, first of all, I want to really just say as well, like, I appreciate the 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 way you put out the content because you know, um, I seen from years ago, man, like a little, like a few Chicago rappers would be, um talking about somebody like DJ Academics, you know what I'm saying, who who was covering a lot of Chicago, uh, you know, stuff going on. But the way he did it, a lot of Chicago rappers didn't respect him, you know what I'm saying, because he would just focus on the negative and he would just do it in a way where it was like he wasn't giving back. And and it just it, just the way he was doing it was, was it, a lot of people from the actual city was not respecting him. But what I like about you is that you're actually from the city and when people look on your channel, they look on any one of your videos, anytime you do a piece on anybody, you focus on like what they're about, you know what I'm saying? Their whole reputation. But then at the end of the video, I love how you talk about just circumstances, you know what I'm saying? How people, certain people is born into this, you know what I'm saying? Certain people is raised into this and, and you always have like a lesson to it as well. So it's like, damn, like this is, this is crazy. Like I love like this, yeah, you go, super deep with it man and it's like there's nobody else doing that right now you know what I'm saying? and i and you know i appreciate that you know you know the way i the way i look at that is you know i think it's 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 different you go you're gonna get a different vibe because like you know you ever listen for i'm gonna show you a perfect example of what i'm talking about you ever yeah. um listen to a song and you just felt that shit and it's like I know he was going through something when he when he dropped that. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. It just sound different. Yeah. I got so much love for Chicago that I understand, you know, I you know that's where I'm from. So I understand the way they think. So I know that they're not gonna watch my videos if it's not entertaining, you know? But at the same time. I'm not going to put these stories out without letting motherfuckers know the results behind it for one and for two. Like, you know, if you're going to be out here in the streets doing what you, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be out in the streets gangbanging, bro. At least pick this up right here. 
you know, so you won't get killed out here, or so you won't end up killing, you know, an innocent person out here, you know. Yeah. And so I, I think it, I think it just comes from the fact that I love Chicago, I love my city, and yeah. that's what it is. Yeah. You know, I don't like saying it. So the next man, like. He ain't the next motherfucker that might not be from Chicago that's blogging about Chicago. He ain't really feeling that shit for real. How? Yeah. They might his people that's dying, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, definitely, definitely, definitely. And and some people, even not from Chicago, you know what I'm saying, or any from, from any city that, that that is a lot of violence, you know, it's the same thing. Like, it's the same process. You should look at any city that, that have a lot going on within the city. You should look at, okay, well, what can I... What, what positive things is here, you know, that go along with whatever you're talking about? You know what I'm saying? What, what can I do to give back? What can I do to, what can I, you know, can I actually talk to some of the actual people that live in the city and, you know, ask to why this is going on and all of that, you know what I'm saying? And, and most of these people don't do that. They just doing it for, you know, like literally the clout, you know what I'm saying? Like literally, like that's what they do it for. And I love how you just put everything together. Um, Man, I mean, you know, people already, you know, like, you know, I will put all your, all your, you know, all your info in the links below so people can really understand, you know, go on your channel and see what I'm talking about to, to see how deep you really go with everybody you talk about, man. And, and you know, second of all, I want to say rest in peace to all the people, you know, that passed, you know, in the, in these wars, man, in these wars going on. And, um, you Most know, definitely, man. you know, yeah, definitely, man. And, you know, it's, it's people I'm, I'm just looking at, I was just looking at so, so many of your videos and I'm like, wow, like. We all look the same, you know what I'm saying? Like we literally look like we look like literally the same, you know what I'm saying? And it's like it's crazy, but like you like you say, man, it's like and in, in, in every city, you know what I'm saying, there's a lot going on, you know what I'm saying? It's just so much going on and so much like war and people just being born into it. It's just so much, so much going on, you know what I'm saying, that people don't understand. So, you know, but I, I appreciate the content, man. But yo, I, I was gonna tell you too, like you, uh, on another thing again, like you know a lot of like you got a lot of fucking knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Like how you how you know yeah. so much about the history of different like uh of different gangs and just the history of the city and all that, like well I got <clears throat> I'm what they call a um I would be like a, um well actually I'm not because I was born in Chicago. My people are immigrants, my people migrated from Mississippi to okay. Chicago, you know? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. You know, as far as what I've seen outside of Chicago, Mississippi was always the the next state that was more in line. You know, it's the country, but it's, mm -hmm. it was always the more, the next state that was more in line. And then I went to looking into it, and it's like all of the chiefs come from Mississippi. Like all of the real, you know what I'm saying? The Larry Hughes and the Jeff Force, they come from Mississippi. Everybody came from the South. You see what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. you know, it just come from. Me genuinely, like some of the people that I actually been around and met before, you see what I'm saying? And just having so much love for what it used to be and looking at what it is now, it just, you know, make me want to. And then my uncles, I got I got so much family in Chicago to the point to where I'm going to know something about a little bit of everything because, like I said, well, most of my family foes and uh, vice lords, but okay. I got... I got family and friends from all walks of life, you know? That's I got true. motherfuckers in my family that all my life, I really thought they was like my blood family, but guess what? About 17, 18, I found out like these people ain't even really my cousins, you know? Mm -hmm. But that's just mm -hmm. how, you feel me? That's yeah. where we come from, it ain't like that now. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. it just come from uh, two. Also, you know, I did an eight year stretch. I did the eight year stretch. So when I was in a joint, you know what I'm saying? I matter of fact, I did my I did an eight year stretch in the South. You know what I'm saying? But when I was in a joint, you know, the first three years I was bullshitting, playing. I wasn't really on nothing for real. Then I just said, like, fuck that shit. I'm wasting my time. Like I gotta be in this bitch. Cause like I was looking at some time time, you know, first degree yeah. robbery. Okay. But uh did eight straight on it. But um so I just like shit, you know, I start kind of kind of looking at the motherfuckers that was walking around like the in the nation and shit like that and how they carried themselves. And I just gravitated towards that. Cause it was like they these motherfuckers, they got self-discipline, you know what I'm saying? They know how to they know how to carry themselves, you know what I'm saying? They you know they 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 standing up like men, you see what I'm saying? So at the time I was young as hell too. 
I just gravitated towards that shit. And once I, once I joined the uh, the Nation of Islam, I ended up going into the uh, the five percent nation, the Nation of Gods and Earth. And from there, I just ended up coming in contact with a little bit of everything, you know. Mm. Because I'm the type of person I always been like this, and I don't know where I get it from. I'm able to look at shit from, I'm able to step outside of my body and, you know, look at shit from another angle. You see, you see what I'm saying? So that that to me right there, that's the most, that's the best gift that I got. Cause I can, and it, and it, and it also helps me prevent a lot of bullshit. Cause I can step outside of myself and look at it like, okay, this 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 how he looking at it. I can understand why he looking at it like that. So, you know, now I can determine what my reaction gonna be. You feel me? But, you know, and I thank God for that gift. But I just no, was that's, able definitely, to... that's, that's definitely a gift, man. Because you know, you, you yeah. I, I, earlier, I, earlier video I seen when on when Twister, you 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 had did a piece on Twister, and he said the same thing. Like, because you know, and that and that come with that knowledge. You know what I'm saying? When he was like, how you know, people think that you know they they actually in control of their body, but it's it's not. You know what I'm saying? It's actually. It's actually you actually inside of your conscious, and your conscious has nothing to do with your body neither. It's like it's, it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? And that's yeah. what comes with the knowledge. Yeah, yeah, I love when you put that. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you learn too. You know what I'm saying? You got that gift, man. Yeah, damn, my bad, my folks calling me. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah nah, I, I got the same thing. Real talk, I heard Tusta say that. I think yeah, yeah. I think I um he said on his Instagram or something like yeah. that. But that's just real talk, bro. That's a gift. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Because most people can't do that. They just, no matter how hard you try, no matter how hard you try to make them see it from another standpoint, they just gonna always see it from their eyes. But guess what? That's not good. And the reason why that's not good because the truth is not always necessarily what people, what it, you know, basically, whatever you perceive the truth to be, that's the fucking truth to you, period. Example. I might not, I might, I know certain facts dealing with religion. I know what religion was made for and things like that. But my grandma, and I can prove to her that what she believes in is not right and exact. But there's not going to be nothing that I can say. I don't care how much I prove to my grandma that this is false and that ain't real. She's still going to ride with who she's going to ride with when it comes to her God. You see what I'm saying? You can't move a lot of motherfuckers. You got some people, you got some people who can, you know what? All right, I say I'm. A, you know, we just gonna we just gonna say uh, Christians, for instance. I say I'm a Christian. You may come at me with you know questions that I can't answer. I seek to answer them. Okay, I'm. I hear you out. You know what I'm saying? Then I start to do the research for myself if I really want to know. But if I don't really give a fuck, like most of our people don't really come to search stuff, then yeah, you know it go it go real deep, bro. It ain't it just deep. about it go real deep. Yeah, that's a fact. It's, really about, it's a life. You know what I'm saying? It's dealing with life. Yeah. Like, that's how I look at life, you know? No, nah, that's for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. No, nah, that's a fact, man. That's a fact. And, you know, a lot of people, they, they don't get that deep, man. And, um, and and speaking of the history, man, too, of Chicago, man, it's like, and, you know, people really got to watch your channel, man, because you, you cover a lot of different, like, not only, not only, you know, you cover, like, young dudes in Chicago, like, you know, that that been through, that been in the streets and all that, but I see you talk about Al Capone and, and Twister, for example, like all different type of people, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, like you even said another video, like this, this history, like people don't know the history of Chicago. Like this shit go back to like the 1800s, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm in New York, for example, like the gang shit, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of violence and, and really just like with the gangs, it's like, we, 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 we started, a, a, you know, we started a few things and you know, we saw a lot of things, but when you, when you talk about Chicago, it's like a lot of shit was created in Chicago, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's ingrained, you know what I'm saying? Like from the ground, you know what I'm saying? Like in New York, we we take a lot of shit, like we adopt a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? Like we see shit from Chicago, we see shit from the West Coast, and we bring it over here, and then you know that's how we do, we, you know, we take it from there. But you talk about Chicago, like the history, right? I'm talking about like the 1800s, you know what I'm saying? Well, like be, even before probably um Al Capone and those dudes, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But when you talked about like uh like for example, like can you confirm um again that Martin Luther King, when he came to Chicago, he was with some stones with some, some, for security. Yeah, that's that's an actual fact. That's an actual fact, bro. You know what I'm Crazy. saying? And, and you know, um, actually, 
the Panthers. No, I, I, I said, well, you know, the Stones and the, the Stones and the uh, the Panthers was, but no, nah, he was with the he was with the Panthers. I take that back. He wasn't with the Stones. Okay. He, he the Panthers was his security. Okay. But the Panthers and the, the Stones was actually finna conglomerate. They was trying to get together, and the fans didn't want to see that happen. You know, like Fred Hampton back then. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he was doing his thing too. Yeah. So it's like you know they didn't want to see that happen. They didn't want to see that happen. So you know, when of course Martin Luther King, he gonna get, he gonna have to get the Panthers, the, the El Rukins. You know what I'm saying? Somebody like that to protect them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. no, definitely, definitely. That was crazy. That was crazy when you said that. I'm like, wow, like. Because if you if you really dissect the history, you will find out, you know what I'm saying? Like, even in New York, here, yeah, there was a lot of that happening. Like, a lot of politicians and a lot of, like, um, people from, the, like, the civil rights movements and different parts of that, they would link up with, like, a lot of different, you know, quote-unquote gang members and shit like that. But really, what they was really trying to do was get in tune with each other and click up and, and try to do right for the community, you know what I'm saying? But like you said, though, which is so important, all around the country, with us as a people, you have like the police and the feds that will come through and infiltrate, you know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure that happened in Chicago where it's like, they will hire people just like in the nation of Islam, you know what I'm saying? They will hire people to come in there. I mean, they look like us, but they're really feds, you know what I'm saying? And they're infiltrating. So I know that has something to do with every single, every single group really, you know what I'm saying? From like the fifties and sixties, like even until now, you know what I'm saying? So like people see like what's going on and they don't really understand. Like they don't they really don't understand. You really got to do your research. Like these people, like, you know, the feds, they will come in, they will infiltrate because like you said, they don't, they did not want to see none of that going on because they know what can happen. You know what I'm saying? They know if we take over, it's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because uh, even with the Black Panthers, you know, um, they came up with the, the destruction of the Black Messiah. Yeah. And it was actually documents that state there is never to be a black man to rise, you know what I'm saying, to have a certain amount of power. Like, before he gets that power like that, he got to be exterminated. Yeah, and, yeah, and that goes, yeah, yeah. I mean, when you, when you just think about it. Now, no one's ever really did it. Farrakhan's probably, but that's because, you know, at the end of the day, Minister Farrakhan, they, you know, he's not allowed to really do what he want to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah. When you get to the point where you start rebelling against those people and you you got too much power behind you, bro, they're gonna get rid of you. From Malcolm to Martin to uh Melakazi York, you know, Elijah, he lived out his days, but they always every you know, they always was trying to pin something on Elijah, make him look bad. They did it with Noble Drew Ali, they did it with uh Marcus Garvey. They name them, you name them, bro, they either locked them up or they killed them. Fred Hampton, you can just go on, bro. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah. it's actually documents stating that we will not allow y'all to take America over. We won't allow y'all to do it. And we know that y'all are the ones that can do it. You see what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy, crazy, man. It's yeah, ridiculous. Man. And, you know, I, I remember, and I remember when you said another video, like, um, <laughs> Like when you said another video, just like with the whole, the whole, the whole, uh, what's this dude name, man? This dude was an undercover gay dude, man, too. Uh, Edgar Hoover, you know what I'm saying? Like he was the one, man. He was the one back in the days who, who made those laws too with the FBI, you know what I'm saying? And go back to J. Edgar Hoover. J. Edgar Hoover, you know what I'm saying? He would come through Nation of Islam, you know what I'm saying? When, um, when, um, all of them was there in the 50s and 60s, you know what I'm saying? With, with even with Malcolm X, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody, they find people. You know, that's in the hood. They they hide them, and then they infiltrate, you know what I'm saying? And it, it still happens. You want to get an order. He exactly. You want to get an order. order. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was, was crazy. That was J. Edgar Hoover's program. Yeah, it was J. Edgar Hoover. That destruction exactly. of the Black Messiah, trying to take out the, uh, trying to um, keep the Black Panthers down. You remember, that was, at one point in time, the Black Panthers, I don't care what nobody say. All of these gangs, they definitely either stem off the Black Panthers, or like really like, like another sect of the black because think about it when gangs first started all of them was militant they went from militant to a you know a motherfucker got a whole hierarchy you see what i'm saying everybody got a job you know you don't break the chain of command that's how gangs was protecting the neighborhood structure 
That's the special. gangs wasn't, yeah, gangs wasn't about, you know what I'm saying? We needed gangs back then. Exactly. Because the exactly. police are coming to do you any kind of way. You see exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, for sure, for sure. All the way, all the way for sure, you know what I'm saying? And that's what that's what a lot of people don't understand, especially the young dudes today. Some of the young dudes, you know what I'm saying? Some of the young dudes, like you be talking about, they, they know about structure and all of that. Yeah. But back then, that's all it was about, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, you know, they was for the people and, and we was for them. And that's why, again, you know what I'm saying, when the Black Panthers, when they kill, uh, when they started killing people from the Black Panthers and it was in front of everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, they was trying to really, like, that's like some slave shit. If you go back to the slave days, they will kill, you know what I mean, the leaders or the people who ran away in front of you. You know what I mean? So you so you could really see that and be traumatized and be like, damn, I don't even want to escape. You know what I'm saying? And that's what always happened to this day. And people don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? That's why when you talk about so many different things, man, I'm like, yo, this is a deep brother, man, because they don't know what it stemmed from. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't know what we really been through. Like I'm I'm like, cause we talk about the sixties, that's what that's like almost 60 years ago, you know what I'm saying? And, and way before that shit was happening to us. So when you see all of this violence and all this shit going on, you really have to say, well, where did this, like, this is a, this is like a tree, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to go to the, like, the seeds of this shit. Like, we didn't just start doing this shit out of nowhere, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, man. Crazy, yeah, crazy. and see, you know what, bro? Honestly speaking, I'm saying the 20s, I will. I want to say the '60s because the '60s was the years of what you know. What black people kind of just was like, "Hey, we tired. Fuck y'all." Type yeah. shit, you know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. the '20s is those were the years when we were at our best in America. You see you what know, I'm saying? You know it. You and you've seen it. what happened in Oklahoma, exactly. in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Exactly. You know what's going on. You know what's going on. We had yeah, they, we they, had they, we had like ten yeah, different black yeah, Wall Streets. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, we had mad different right, black see, I, all of that. Sixties, yeah, we we was we was we was popping like yeah. we we was we was richer then than we than we is now, and it's two thousand twenty. Yeah. Right, that was the night. That was literally a hundred years ago. Yeah, you see what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So, yeah. like, damn, we done went backwards. We began to like rise up. You know why we began to do that? Because we started practicing discipline. Even with gangs, when the discipline start to leave, bro, the structure is always gonna fail. You know what niggas did to you back then, bro? When you did something crazy, like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna even say, I ain't gonna even say him, you know. But anyway, he was getting dealt with, yeah. You if you do if you if you go do some dumb shit like that, motherfuckers gonna give you a fucking head, or either you might get killed. Now, the shorties don't honor that. But in all actuality, you need that because you need that to tell you, like, all right, before I do this dumb shit, man, dude, them gonna fuck me up. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know I ain't supposed to be doing this shit. That ass whooping that you caught or that you seen the last nigga catch, you know what I'm saying? When he did some dumb shit, it'll make you think about it. And yeah, we yeah. need that. Motherfuckers yeah, need yeah. discipline, bro. Yeah. Motherfuckers, I mean, I, it didn't take, I ain't get, bro, I ain't start caring about nothing to after, to after I went to prison. You know what I'm saying? When I, I'm on my fifth year, that's when I was like, you know what? Damn, I, I really do want to live. You know what I'm saying? I really do want to get out of the joy life. You know? Motherfucker get old. I'm 25 years old at the time. I really do want to get out of the joy life. You know? Yeah. But, yeah. Nah, shit crazy, I you, man. I feel you. I feel you. And that's another good point right there, too. It's like, and you said that again in another video, you know what I'm saying? You're like, yo, a lot of these dudes, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they didn't, you know, the structure stopped, but then at the same time, they so young. you like, you're not even, they're not even giving themselves the time, you know what I'm saying, to mature and to say, like, you know, I need structure in my life. You know what I'm saying? It took you, it took, it took until you was 25, you just said, to really be in a, in a position where it's like, you know what, I want to change shit around. But a lot of these dudes is like 16, 17, already deep in the street already like not even picking up the right structure and then unfortunately they passed before they could even realize like what they doing you know what i'm saying and then that's that's a big thing too right there that y'all we talked about that in the, in the end of another video you know what i'm saying like a lot of these dudes is not even they're not even getting that chance yeah you know they saying? never have a chance bro they never have a chance bro it's crazy and yeah. you have a lot of a lot of these young guys man you know they they mamas know to get Life life insurance on them when they, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
they know to get life insurance on their kids, you know, because they know when they die, not if they die, but when they die, they you know, they're going to get something and be able to bury their baby because nine times out of ten, growing up in those type of environments, bro, that's exactly what's going to happen. And it ain't even a motherfucking fault because, like, if you grow up in some shit like that at the end of the day, bro, even if you ain't with the shit, a lot of times you going to get put in the shit anyway because that's where you from. And if you cool or kick it with these niggas or be seen by the ops with these niggas, when they catch you, they're going to blow your ass down, bro. It don't even matter. It don't matter, bro. I swear to God, it do not matter. If you play basketball, gang bang, whatever you do, they're going to kill you. That's real. That's, is, is that real out there? You know what I'm saying? And people don't understand. So what you, you think you're going to do, bro? So what you going to do? What anybody else going to do? I'm going to get me my gun and I'm going to rock with it, right? Why not? Yeah. They're going to kill me yeah, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Shit crazy, bro. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. I mean, so you know what? So, I mean, I mean, at this point right now, 2020, you know what I'm saying? I mean, what what, what you feel like, you know, with, with, with how the young dudes is, is thinking right now, you know, in the street and, you know, whatever they're doing, you know what I'm saying? They, they involved, you know what I'm saying? at such a young age and, and, and they have that mindset to where they don't listen, they're not listening to really, you know, too much to the older dudes. It's like, what, what kind of, what kind of solutions can people have right now for the city? You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, I know motherfuckers got to leave out the house. As of like right now, as we speak, like in today's time, you got to leave out, the, out your house to get your essentials. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, you're supposed to be sitting your ass down. That's what we, we can definitely, y'all can definitely, you can definitely, whoever watching this video, and you a shorty and you, you out in the streets or whatever, you can save yourself at least probably a good six months to a year on your life. If you do one thing right now, do what motherfuckers is telling you to do with this coronavirus shit. Because something is going on, we don't know exactly what's going on, but until we find out what's going on, I'm not saying be scared, be in your house under the bed, but what I'm saying is you need to be in the house and you need to be away from people, first and foremost, you know, but I really, I don't, I'm the type of person, I don't like to tell people to do shit without providing the means. I'm not going to tell you to quit selling dope and I ain't got no job for you right here. I'm not that type of person, you know? So I think that for one, we need to figure out a way. And and this is this is I'm here you I'm gonna hit you with some shit that's gonna really work whenever motherfucker gets through. We need to figure out a way as a community, as a whole, instead of spending our money billions and billions of dollars like we do every year on bullshit, black people are the number one consumers in America, when we not spending, shit shutting down. That's just the way it is. White people don't spend their money like us. For one, we can start spending our money in the right place. What is the right place? The right place is on the future of our children. You can't send them to run down schools with run down books and think they gonna get a grade A knowledge. That's not gonna happen. You know? So that's one thing that we're not doing. We're spending our money on too much bullshit instead of the children having a safe place to go play. This man might have wanted to be Michael Jordan, the next Michael Jordan, but he had to be a gangbanger because he didn't have no other way out. How else he was going to walk down the street without a gun? He can't walk down the street dribbling no basketball. They're going to shoot the air out that motherfucker. You know? Um, we have to provide... We have to we have to provide you know these 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 charities and the, you know what people are do, donate money to these uh, uh, different um, charities for kids and stuff like that. We need to actually start seeing results of where that money is going because it's looking like the kids have nothing to do, yeah. you know, like the gyms and the wives just ain't what they used to do. Right, or just right, ain't right, what they right. used to be. We used to have, um, we used to go to the Austin Town Hall and we used to do tumbling. We could swim when we wanted, you know what I'm saying? They yeah, can't yeah. do that type of shit no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else is there to do? 
What else is fun? That's, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. And become the devil playground. You know what I'm saying? When you idle, that's real talk. You know what I'm saying? That's any exactly. city. You know what I'm saying? So, so and that's what I love into... about. Yeah. 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 And that's what I love about the nation so, of Islam you know, they too. They gonna get into drugs. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're going to get into drugs. They're going to get into all of that. The, uh, yeah, all of that. It's going it's to, and you know what? That was the, that, that was some of the best years of my life. I actually went vegan when I was in the nation. Wow, wow. wow. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah. But yeah, a lot of people don't even know yeah, what like the nation is like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot, a lot of people don't know what the, what the nation is like. That's what exactly what they was doing. You know what I'm saying? They would, they would have the funding, and they would make money for themselves and put it right back into all the different businesses. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was here in New York. We was in New Jersey with it. We was in Chicago with it. Like, they would take over. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally, like, fucking YMCA's. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, the, um, the, uh, all, the, all the prayer centers, uh, barbershops, anything, laundromats, everything. It was making money from everything and then put it right back into the business. So all of it was black owned, you know what I'm saying? But then again, you know, niggas came in and, you know, they infiltrated and, you know, shut it, you know, tried to shut everything down as much as they can. But like you said, that, that whole plan, that's what they was doing. But right now, like you said, I don't, I'm not really seeing that, you know what I'm saying, for the people like inside the community right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, you know, and you, you, you definitely right about that. You know, it's really people all for themselves. I said this before, and I'm going to always say this, bro. The most honorable Elijah Muhammad had and still has the best economical program for black people that has ever been. I don't care, bro. It's, it's foolproof. Yeah. It's foolproof. You see what I'm saying? Because it works from the inside all the way to the outside. What do I mean by that? The number one asset on earth, for real, for real, whenever we get through bullshitting, is food, water, and oxygen. So the teachers of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches you that, see, you don't want to farm no more because of what happened back when they had us picking cotton. But if we able to produce our own food, Plants, vegetables, and things of this nature, bro. First of all, we won't have to worry about so much obesity. You know, about it. we won't Talk have to worry it. about like food. Yeah, the food determines a lot, bro. The food that we're getting is poisonous. Yeah, you know, the pesticides that they grow these fruits and vegetables with, hell that's yeah. not organic for real. Even the organic food, not organic. So it's like if we get our own land, put our our funds and pool our resources towards getting stuff for us, land, farming, uh, raising our own animals, and we get strong as a nation, that's the, you know, at the at, at the end of the day, bro, when it's all said and done, and it, and it sounds so simple, but it really is so simple, right, but right, the right. thing that makes it difficult is the fact that America is not going to allow you to do that. You can't, sh you can't shoot it out with them. You can't shoot it out with them. You can't, um, you can't argue with him. He controls the media. You see what I'm saying? You on his platform right now, right? Right. Well, you can't hide from him. So it's like that's our only issue. Our biggest issue is how do we combat the powers that be? Because right. everything that happening that's happening with black people, we see it coming, and we can't do nothing to stop it. Like all of this homosexuality so out here. Nothing against gay people, but I'm just saying, 20, 30 years ago, it wasn't like this. Right, right. Now it's going crazy, but we seen it happening. What did they yeah. do? They infiltrated the rap music. When the rap made it cool, ain't nothing we can do about it. So to me, like, that's that's the million dollar question because no matter how many plans we come up with, no matter how much good we do, at the end of the day, if we gain too much power, they coming for us. Yeah, that's true. That's true, man. It's, that's it's the root. Up. I mean, I'm not racist by far, but that, that's the root of the pro that's the root issue, bro. Just killing all the bullshit. That, that's the root issue, cause. You're not finna tell me Malachi Z. York, he damn near built his own civilization in Georgia. Right, right, Look right, at the right. nation. 
for a year, for almost a hundred years, a hundred yeah. years, the nation yeah, has yeah. been, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. And black people still ain't doing no better because they won't allow us to over here, bro. That's the question that we need to get together as a people and come up with. What are we going to do? Not to sound like no revolutionary, but just to kill all the bullshit. Because like you said, the problem that we got in Chicago ain't just in Chicago. It's actually right. in every, it's every city that, 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 had, that got black people in it, bro. It's the That's same right. problem. That's we right. killing each other. You pull it out. Yeah. You gonna tell the next man, hey, no, nah, no, nah, man, not you. Move out the way. I'm trying to get this nigga. And it's crazy. It's, that's how it is. That's how it is, man. And and like you said, you know what I'm saying? When you have people like that and you have when when we've been through so much as a people, man, it's like you can't be surprised when you have people like the Yahweh been Yahweh's, you know what I'm saying? Where like, you know, allegedly, you know what I'm saying, we don't know, but and it was cutting people, you know what I mean, cutting white people heads off, you know what I'm saying? Because we just tired, you know what I'm saying? We just tired of the bullshit. Like, like you said, every time we try to do something, they shutting us down, they killing us, they shooting us, they doing this. So it's like now you have these groups like Yahweh be Yahweh, you know what I'm saying? The nation, um, I mean, his nation, you know what I'm saying? They just, you know, allegedly, you know, doing what they gotta do because they in the way, you know what I'm saying? Period. They just in the way of everything we doing every single time, and every single time we get to a certain point, we get we get shut down, we get cut down. You know what I'm saying? And see, man, that, man, you just said some big ass words right there. And you know what niggas need to stop doing, bro? Niggas need to stop being our own enemy when it comes to killing each other. We damn sure need to stop being our own enemy, bro. When it comes to trying to tear the next brother down. A brother, a brother told me earlier, man. Guess what this brother told me? He told me, he said, man, the shorties really want to see you win. Then he said something else. Don't do some goofy. And um, what he say? And fail them. He said fail, you know what I'm saying? Basically, like, don't fail them. And so I had to really, like, analyze, like, what did you really just ask me, bro? Okay. At the end of the day, Motherfuckers have to realize, like, I don't have to be the nigga that's trying to tell y'all to do right. I don't have to be that nigga. I can be the nigga that's with the bullshit, like everybody else. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Whether I'm with the bullshit or not. On the internet, you can make them up, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers, motherfuckers ain't real. That's why a lot of people respect my craft, because they know I'm giving you, I'm giving you me. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't hiding behind no damn keyboard or none of that. I'm just addressing you, letting you know what it really is. Yeah. And you know when it when when it when it comes to that shit right there, man, we really need to we really need to just start being more appreciative to the ones that we do have. You see what I'm saying? When Malcolm was here, we probably it's probably a million people that wish that they would have, you know what, man, I would have just well, I wish I would have embraced Malcolm. I ain't realize how special of a person he was, right, what he was right, trying right. to do until he died. So but now it's too late. Right. Instead of criticizing right. the motherfucker, right, why are you right, even? Right, right, why right. are you even on my YouTube page? Um, now nah, why are you even on my Instagram? Matter of fact, comment some shit like that, and you had to request to be in here. How could right. I fail them when I'm doing what I'm doing? How could I fail them? What are you doing to not fail them? Right, 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 right. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Don't throw that on me. Don't tell me I'm going to fail them. Now, when it comes to my kids, because all I can do to these other kids is tell them and hope that they take heed. But when it comes to my kids, you're going to get this. Right, right. You're going to get this. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get it one way or the other. You ain't got no choice but to get this. Exactly. So when you come to anybody, you acting like, what am I supposed to do? Chase motherfuckers around, preach it to them, hit them over the head. Nigga, you gonna listen. Nigga, you gonna, you gonna stay in the house. They say the coronavirus. I, I can't do that. These like right, my, right, these right, people right. are like my kids. Right, right, I right. I can right. just do what, you know, do the best I can do. And that, and, and that's why uh, Rest in Peace Zach TV, man, that's all Zach was trying to do. Think about it. Niggas was getting mad at Zach 
because Zach will let niggas get on camera and woo woo woo, fuck your dead homie and woo woo woo. True. But you gotta look at it like this. If I pay you my money, I didn't pay you to edit out what the fuck I'm saying right, in the right, interview. Right, Nigga, right, we want right. all this. That's true. That's so true. look at the position that you put this man in. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's real talk. That's real that's talk. That's like, like that's so deep right there. They don't they don't understand that part yeah. right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So shit, I'm finna feed my family and whatever y'all got going on, y'all got it going on. I'm just a nigga with the camera. Tell people yeah. all the time, I'm just the one telling the story. I don't got nothing to do right, with what right, happened. Right. I don't got nothing to do with that. You right. know? And most motherfuckers can't tell a story because they're too busy looking at the next man like, bitch ass nigga. That's I ain't gonna get that nigga no credit. I ain't yeah, gonna get that nigga right. credit. Fuck that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. It's crazy, man. Yeah, Zach TV was a real dude, man. You could just see it, man. And he came out here to New York a few times, you know what I'm saying? He was in Brooklyn, he was in Harlem, talking to her, like, you know, dudes in the hood, dudes in the street, whatever, you real know what I'm saying? Little, man. Yeah, he was he was everywhere, man. Like everybody loved him, man. And you know, there's another dude named um, Mel's TV that's from Brooklyn. He's actually from Flatbush, where I'm from too. And he's doing the same thing. And he was influenced by Zach TV too. You know what I'm saying? And him, I think they was cool. Um, and he go through the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, he had a little bit of beef with some dudes because the dudes feel the same exact way, you know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, you interviewing the ops, like, you know, you you doing this. And he's like, yo, I'm just, I'm, I'm you pay me, you feel me? I'm just interviewing you, I'm doing what I got to do. You know, I, like, you know I don't have nothing to do with, you know what I'm saying, what you got going on. I'm I'm here to interview you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't have me take sides, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm putting you on my platform, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The same exact thing Zach TV went through. All these camera dudes be going through, you know what I'm saying? And it's like that's the mindset of these dudes. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't even understand. Like, how can't you see that? You know what I'm saying? Right. And then they wonder, like, the way they come, the way some of these dudes come at you, man. They wonder why. And and then you won't understand until you get put out there. And it's like, oh, y'all niggas is motherfucking crazy. Fuck all you niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You when you when you initially you trying to help motherfuckers. Play you like you. Oh, that's the worst thing in the world you can do to me. If you don't do nothing else to SNN TV, man, don't motherfucking play me like I owe you some more. I need to do yeah, something for yeah, your exactly. bitch ass. I don't need exactly. to do nothing for you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I hate when niggas do that shit. Some of these niggas uh, act like shit. Like, goddamn, like you know them and you cool and y'all, they paid you to do the motherfucking and they'll get on your ass about some shit that you doing for them. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas be crazy. Yeah, like real yeah, talk, yeah, 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 motherfucker yeah. won't even say thank you. Motherfucker won't even say shit. That's saying I appreciate you for right, you know looking right, out for right. me with the you know you took your time a lot of time right, on ninety right, percent right. of the videos doing right. that shit. So just to even put you out there. So you know it, it had you on some shit like you know what man fuck that shit bro. How much money you got nigga? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit, yeah. you want you want a, you want an episode bro? Shit, come on with that check bro. Come on <laughs> with that check. That's fuck what it that. make you do. Yeah, that's what yeah, they make yeah. you do. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. And then it's motherfuckers crazy, won't like you for that. Motherfuckers right, won't like right. you for working for, for not working for free. You right, see? Right, hey, right. man. It's always a problem. It's always something, right? With, 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 with who? Nobody but guess what? Who? Uh? Right. It's always a problem with us, bro. You notice on no other genre. And you know we would we would all kind of be in the hip hop genre, all from an all around standpoint. Even when blogging and stuff like that, we all kind of, you know what I'm saying, dealing with the black culture. That's what they really made it. That's what they gave black people the hip hop genre. So you know that's what we dealing with. You froze up, gang. No, I'm here. Oh, okay. So you yeah. know, you, yeah, you know that's what we dealing with the hip hop shit. And it's like, um, you know, just. Just dealing with this shit, bro, it's like niggas always beefing in this shit. You don't see this shit in country music. <laughs> you don't right. see this shit in rock and roll. Yeah. You never seen two rock and roll motherfuckers online going at it. You gonna see two niggas all day, every day. Yeah. Somebody, two niggas is beefing, making That's songs true. about. Name you can't name a genre of music, bro, that do that shit. But uh, that's true. That's true. It's crazy. It's crazy. But it come back to you know everything we talked about. You know what I'm saying? It come back to the pain and the 
and I mean, and I don't even want to make excuses. You know what I'm saying? Because if you go on my channel, I'm not, I'm not, I ain't gonna lie. If you go on my channel, there's a lot of times I talk about you know shit that happened with you know, um, right. you know different you paths that people took. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And I'll be like, yo, this is this is fucked up. Like sometimes I don't really care about um, an excuse, but I'm not trying to make an excuse at the same time. You really gotta look at shit that all this shit we've been through. You know what I'm saying? Like we like when you talk, you yo, this dude. My boy SNTV, like you talked about so much different shit, like PTSD and all this, shit, all this depression shit, like everything. We like this is real with us. Yeah, you know that's I'm saying that's real, why real. we. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like that's why we beef with each other. We do this and we do that because we have a history. I'm talking about since even before the slave days, man. You know what I'm it's saying? It's psychological. Through, like it's psychological. It's everything. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, on, you man. see us beefing. Yeah. I was gonna listen to yeah, bro. It's psychological. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, people, you know, it's it's deep. It's so deep, you know? Yeah, man, but niggas don't, you know, niggas, like I said, bro, niggas could kill all that if motherfuckers just started looking at it like, this is not my enemy, bro. This is my brother, you know? Yeah. This is not my fucking enemy. This is not my enemy, bro. Whenever I, whenever I get through, this ain't my enemy. Right, right, this right. the man that I should be embracing. Right, That's how right. we get stronger. Right. You know? Yeah. yeah. And that's how That's we can easily combat that shit. Everybody right. can wake up. Everybody in the world, every, all of us over here in America, and I'm speaking on black people in America specifically, all of us could just wake up. It's this simple. <laughs> and possible. We could just wake up and be like, you know what? Fuck all the shit out of that, that niggas that did to me in the past, man. I'm gonna just fuck this shit. We just finna drop this shit, man. We finna come together. Niggas could do that. It's possible. But yeah. anything is possible. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? It's possible yeah, for me to get on top of this motherfucking double front flip off this bitch. That's possible, but it, it's highly unlikely. You know highly what I'm saying? Unlikely. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, it's crazy. He needs man. to see it, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy. Nah, you're definitely right. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's what, and you know what though? Like what you just said, if I think, I think even if just people realize that though, you know what I'm saying? Even if we just realize that, like, yo, we could actually do this, we could actually wake up and all be on the same type of time. I think if, even if, if even if you even if that idea was in our head, you know what I'm saying? If that idea, like we literally woke up with that idea. That's that that could be the that could be the first level right there to actually doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't even have the idea in our head. You know what I'm saying? We don't even think it's possible. You feel me? It's it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, even even like a lot of shit that you, you know, a lot of people that you man, I'm like, yo, these dudes, we all look the fucking same, man. Like we literally, I'm looking at people's faces like so many dudes that we we killed, you know what I'm saying, each other on. I'm like, yo, we look the same. Like, <laughs> like we all look related. You feel me? That's how crazy this shit is. Like, people really don't understand, right. man, how deep this shit is, man. They really don't. They don't get that shit. That shit's super deep, man. And you know what the first thing is? And what's crazy, you know what the first thing is, in my opinion, to the solution to what we were talking about, dealing with the um and basically spending our dollars right, it, it it's it that go back to the same thing, bro. If we don't spend our money, bro, if we can get together and not spend our money with just like say we ain't gonna ain't nobody shopping with motherfucking JC Penny. Fuck JC Penny. We ain't shopping with all of us say JC Penny will go out of business like that, right? That's a fact. Hell if yeah. we can get together and even do that. Motherfucker sending out a, 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 you know what I'm saying? Send out a kite, shit. Everybody in all black people in the country do this. If we could get together to do anything, any one thing, I swear it could spark so much stuff. And I ain't talking about just no million man mark that ain't gonna be strong enough. We gotta get together and do something that's gonna really make a difference. That way we'll see, oh, this is how we get it done. Because um, marching and picking signs and destroying shit, that don't work. We did that too many times. That's all we wanna do. Trayvon get killed. We want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, yeah. 
somebody else get, you know, you know how it go, bro, that we don't really do nothing. Our biggest stance to solve a lot of our problems would be to boycott, start boycotting shit economically, bro. Uh, not spinning with these motherfuckers, bro. That'll cut out a whole lot of gang violence and all type of shit to stop. You know why? Because it'll show motherfuckers that we can get together and do something. You know what I'm saying? And when you're not spending money with motherfuckers, or you're not, if you're spending money in the black community, all right, you got a store over here, all right, you sell, you got the beanies over here. I got the white tees over here. He got the, the shoes over there. Um, you know what I'm saying? He got the, he got the pistols over, like, <laughs> We, yeah, right. we got everything. You know? We got everything for sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Instead of getting your getting your dollar, and it don't even stay in the black community, but what a couple seconds. Right. 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 Yeah. Nah. That's 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 for sure. That's for sure. True. You know what I'm saying? We need more black owned shit too. Like where I'm at in Flatbush, for example, it's it's really a, a mirror of the of a lot of black communities where it's like we have a we have a lot of different, um, you know. We have a lot of different black people that's in the community and we shopping and people think that, you know, it's it's all it's mostly black people here or from the Caribbean or whatever, but it's not black owned businesses that we spend the money on. Yeah, you know I mean with, you know what I'm saying? Like we 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 populated as black, but we not we not owned as blacks, you know what I'm saying? So the money is going out right that right out of the community, you know what I'm saying? It's going into whoever's owning, you know, the Koreans, the white, you know what I mean? All that shit. So right. it's it's crazy, you know. So we gotta understand shit like that, you know. Exactly. But who gon who who now now which leads which leads me to my next point. Who gonna teach it to us? Who gonna Because what the kids yeah. interested in what the kids interested in watching, it be a young boy ain't gonna ain't gonna get out there and talk about economics. Right, right, he ain't gonna right. get out there and teach them no. He ain't gonna make no rap. He ain't gonna make no rap song about economics, but he's definitely contributing to economics. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. Nah, that's real. That's real talk. That's deep right there too. Yeah, if he yeah, made, yeah. if he made a song about economics, all the shorties will know know it, and they'll know economics. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's about yeah. the influence, bro. It's about. But you think them people gonna let him? That you think right. the people are gonna let him release? Right, right, right. Hell no. I don't know. I don't want this on. Uh, uh-uh. what you talking about? Yeah. We don't need y'all to own this shit. That's a fact. You want to own some? You finna own this prison sentence that I'm finna give you. That's all. Right, you finna right, own. Right, right, right. Yeah, man. Yeah, or this pistol. You know what I'm saying? That's real talk, man. That's real talk. That's real talk, man. There's so much. There's so much that we did with. So much that we got to do. You know what I'm saying? There's so much that we already, you know, try to do. And, you know, we it's, it's like we starting all over. You know, we always in a position to be starting all over, man. And, you know, I don't want to say it's bleak, you know what I'm saying? Like for the future, man. But, you know, well, you know, conversations, though, like this, though, you know what I'm saying, is important. You know what I'm saying? For all the, all the young and old people, like you be saying, the young and old people can learn from. I love how you say uh, in your video, like, you know, even if you're young or old, man, if there's something you could, if there's something you could take, take this, and then you're going to your little lesson, you know what I'm saying? And that's what you, so everything you're saying, you really actually already doing, you know what I'm saying? You're providing the content, and then at the end, you're saying how it really is and what you should do, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, you right. give your opinion on it, you know what I'm saying? That's, you already doing right. that, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, and you know, that, that, and I, and I felt like, that, you know, that, that's only right, and then at the same time, it's going to make motherfuckers watch the whole video, you know? You know, a lot of people always ask me like, you know, could you, you know, calm down with the content, kind of so to speak, and, you know, speak more about different stuff dealing with, if it's not interesting, they're not gonna watch it. You're never gonna get that notification. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? People don't understand that, but motherfuckers be behind too, so. You know, you got some people five years from now, they'll be like, oh, that's what SN TV was right, trying to do. Right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's bro. That's exactly how I I'm feel, trying, That's, what I'm that's trying so to true. Yeah. That's so crazy, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They're not even going to get it until years later. That's, just, that's a fact, man. I'm telling you, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. They're not right. going to see it until years later, you know what I mean? 
But you know what? But you know what's going on too at the whole the whole time. At the same time, they don't even see it, but it's taking place right in front of them. It's crazy, ain't it? They don't see it, but it's taking place right in front of them. And like years from now, it'll be like, okay, now we see it. It was taking place the whole time. We was thinking that it was this, and it wasn't even right. that. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. Exactly. Why? Because <laughs> a motherfucker ain't paying attention. Right. Because a motherfucker right. not pay attention, bro. That's Straight up. That's real talk. That's real talk. Man, yo. I really appreciate you coming on, man. Yo, I really wish you. Yeah, I already know we could talk for hours, man. I'm, I'm gonna definitely get you back on. You know what I'm saying? This is just a little first part, man. But yeah. that's why I wanted to get you on, yeah. man. I, I really appreciate all the content. I mean, everybody I already, you know, y'all already know to go on SNTV, Street News TV on YouTube, and he got so much good content, man. Talking about all the young dudes and what they're going through, and um, you know, the fallen soldiers and everything, man. But I really appreciate you coming through and really talking about the city. And like you said, this is going on every day in every city. You know what I'm saying? I don't care where you're from. You know what I'm saying? All over the world, really, too. You know what I'm saying? We all going through the same problems. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yo, Street News, man, I mean, I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? You got any last words for the people? Yeah, man, shit. If I, don't, if I ain't never told y'all nothing else, man, straight up, bro. <laughs> Listen to this. If I ain't never told you nothing else, listen to this. This some real shit right here, bro. If you got somebody you cool with, when you first start kicking it with that person, bro, with motherfuckers, pay attention to the small shit that they doing. Mm. If they do a lot of little petty, little small shit, stop fucking with them right now. Mm. Cause eventually, and this ain't even no if or no. When this happened, they're going to fuck you up. Mm. Real shit. Mm. Some real shit. Damn. You Damn. can find me on you can find me on Street News TV, you know, uh, YouTube. And you can also find me on SN TV Productions. Oh, mm. I forgot. Street News, when you spell the news, the news is with a Z. Street News TV. I'm on SN TV Productions. Um, um, on Instagram, you can find me at SNTV18, man. Bad, 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 bad. Shit. You got any, you got, tell me about the, um, the music, too. I mean, but, I mean, I know the music, is, like, all of the music, you got any um, streaming sites you got it on, or is it just on YouTube right now? The music is like, I'm like this with the music. Like, the music is like a, you know what I'm saying? When, when people request the music, I pretty much drop the music, but I'm kind of waiting to, i my shit get a little bit bigger before I really just start going hard with the music. You know gotcha, what I'm saying? Gotcha, gotcha, I, I'd be able to get the music a little bit more focused. I'd be able to, okay. you know, get a little bit, get get a little bit more time and money and effort and all of that shit. You know? Right, right. Right, right. now, I'm kind of so I, cause I already the true, true, true feels, bro. I already got a lot of music recorded. Okay, you know? okay. So okay. I don't gotta record shit. I just gotta drop visuals to shit. That's all I gotta mm -hmm. do. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Nah, that's dope, man. Dope. This is, I'm telling you, man, we looking at the future star right now, man. I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing and he got a lot of conscious shit to talk about, man. Obviously, a deep dude, man. Deep brother talking about Chicago, talking about where he's from, and just talking about the problems that we all face, like I just said, man, in any city. You know, I'm in New York and everything he's saying is the exact same thing. You know what I'm saying? Even from the history, too. So I really appreciate Street News TV, man. And, um, you know, like you said, uh, well, like I said, like we both said, follow him on Instagram, on YouTube and everything, man. And we're going to continue to, um, you know, talk about, you know, hot conversations about what's going on, man, especially the young dudes out there, you know, watching this and and and, um, and just doing with it, whatever they're doing. You know what I'm saying? You know, just you know, try to try to stay focused, man. And just, you know, we, 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 we only want the best for y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So, man, it's another episode. Word up. It's another episode. And I appreciate y'all continuing like um, you know, continue like sharing, subscribing, and everything like that. And uh I appreciate you, bro. <laughs> no doubt, man. You already know it's all love. That's right. All right. <laughs> all right, gang. <laughs>